Hi guys, welcome. You are on a different machine, in the, the old machine, let's say. It's not the ISO builder, the old ISO builder, I guess. And the topic of the video is something that came to happen, and that's how things are, is, are great, right? It's organic. People ask questions about uh, keys on Telegram, and then we say, okay, remember, we have aliases about keys, we have the yay skip here. There's a trias and skip, there is now the paru skip. So you can skip the keys if the keys give you issues. And these days, that's the date. These days the key servers are not functioning the way they should. So installing things from the AOR helper and there is a key involved. You get issues, not with these. Because of that fact, uh, we explained, okay, you can skip this, this key check thing and the package involved the package we were talking about was this one mul vat vpn and it's it goes that quickly at dark linux that a few days later all the icons are in order there's also tux boot that we've um, as application if you, we can install it sudo pacman minus s right and it had has a nice icon there is something i hate about distros that's icons that are not complete and you kind of see it with sadly i mean with all the circle things if there's one thing not circle you've noticed it and you see most of the time a very old ugly thing this is something different um but okay you need to we need to yeah follow everything up and because of that we've put this particular package on our system well on our repo and on my system, that's the topic of the video. The topic of the video is Control Alt G. Let's see if Google finds it. Mulvat. Mulvat VPN. What does it say in 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 in, in Dutch? It says privacy is an universal right. Privacy is a universal uh, right. Okay. So Multivat is a VPN service which you can do your online activities with, keep your identity, location, keep it all private. But let's set it to English for sure. So with things now, I'm living in Amsterdam, Netherlands. You know as well as I do that I'm living in Belgium. And that we have to stay at home because of the nice little bugs that are going all over the world. Here is language. So let's go to English. Most of the viewers are in English. So a quick look at Mulvat VPN. I'm not making any advertisement. It's just it happens organically. It happens helping someone out. And I said, OK, let's pay for it. And that's because it's now paid for one month. I should make a video because probably after this month, I won't uh, do this anymore because, well, I don't need it. But there are countries and there are also um, landlords even that I hear of that's stop certain streams or block certain ports or uh, well they are uh, this to me it sounds just not legal at all that a landlord is going to block his, his tenants etc but via vpn a virtual private network things can be changed so you have a right to privacy society increasingly determines the right what is right and fast and so on and so on generate a code which is super easy the tool the application i don't i i've never met anything easier than this so if you're afraid of that that's not gonna be uh, the case it's not difficult evade hackers let's just read the titles and you can read it later keep your privacy easy to use Privacy, universal right, getting started with we'll move that, generate an account number. It's simple as that. You click, you get a number, and that's it. They don't know I'm Eric Dubois, they don't know that, they don't know where I live, there is no PayPal, well, there is a PayPal payment, but there is no um, returning PayPal payment, that's, that's important. Um, that They really don't have that much information besides the fact that this code, this is unique. So you need to generate an account number and keep it safe somewhere. Download the app and you're set. So that's simple. That's something we can explain very easy. Minus S and then mul vat. Yeah, you have to remember at some point in time. Think, okay, how will I remember this? 
Okay, so all th these things are enabled by default. It's all done. And like Article Linux Team Viewer does it for you, but the Team Viewer application from Arch Linux doesn't. So it matters all these services. So everything is up to date. And you get this little application, maybe with the service. Oh yeah, true. There are so many servers about. Oh my God, 39 pages. I don't know how many there are. Whoa, okay. She's gone again. So lots of uh, things. Servers, servers, 39 servers, Amsterdam, Auckland, Warsaw, Belgrade, Helsinki, Malmö, Stockholm, Zurich, London, Manchester, Atlanta, Chicago, Dallas. Don't ask me how to do all this. It's a normal and the list is long. And the pricing is as such one month. So that I just gave five euros, that's it. And I'll test it and I'll make a video and that's it for me. But some of us don't have the luck in to, to live yeah, where I'm living and they need VPN. This is just for fun. But um, you can use Filmat for five devices, also important. I haven't looked at the, the Android and the iPhone thingies, but maybe you can do it for me. Maybe it is, exists already and I can check it. But it's gonna work on Arcanlex. That's the main thing, right? That's the video. But all the rest might work, I don't know. Pricing, blog maybe. Have some look. It, uh, it blocks also ads. It seems not that I can test it or find it. And some policies and about, you just read, trust it, don't trust it. It's entirely up to you. So I'm using Mulvat and L23 WireGuard Amsterdam Netherlands. So it actually shows, and now we go into the, the technical part. This icon is network manager. We, we know that, we, we get that. I mean, it's standard application. But what's not standard is this thing suddenly. I did do and didn't do anything. I know how to configure VPNs, but it did it for me. I mean, I didn't touch it. And I just rebooted, got the new latest kernel in. Let's see, the number is 14 now, 12 and 14. Rebooted, right? Kernel is coming in, up, reboot. And everything is located now in, in Netherlands. I'm now living in the Netherlands. So probably because I've um, installed the application again, the Mulvat tray icon is gone. And there it is again. So when you boot up, you're actually immediately on, on VPN, unless you un uninstall everything. Uh, and also right mouse click, disconnect here, open Vulmat VPN, disconnect, reconnect. And this thing, as I showed you. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Normally it's green. I really appreciate it that everything is white. I told them already. Um, this is great. Amsterdam, Netherlands, that's where I'm living now. But I think I'm going to move location and I'm going to Luxembourg now. And I, the, the world thinks now I just moved to Luxembourg, which is an issue because YouTube says, hey, well, how is it possible? Or LastPass says, check. That's not true, that's not possible. Though we really know that for the outside world, I'm living somewhere else. So if I, if I didn't, what is my IP kind of thing? I can always do that. What is my IP thing? Then um, it's gonna say, what, wie is mein IP? As a, they, they are actually think I'm in Germany. So this number is not is an exclusive number that from all IT geräten drücker and so weiter genutzt wird. So it means that um, the guy thinks that I'm living in Luxembourg. I'm not. Instead, I'm living in Japan. Everybody knows that Eric Dubois lives in Japan. True. GP. You see? So that's the point of the VPN. Make you think you're living it somewhere else and have it, keeping everything secure, virtual, private, tunneling system. And you have here uh, the references. I can't, I shouldn't click this open. 
but I can click this open. Yes, I can. So my account is, was super simple. Click, had a number, paid, and suddenly it says 30 days to go, and now it's 29 days to go. Take a look at the preferences. Let's put it in the middle a little bit more. Preferences, launch app on startup, auto connect block ads, block trackers, local network sharing, allow access to other devices on the same network for sharing printing. Uh, yeah, actually it should be up on. Um, let me check. That's an important question. I haven't pulled off. So I go to another computer. I go to browse network. I go to Arclinix. No, I shouldn't go to Arclinix ISO builder. I should host, I should build here. Let me test that for you. So the thing is, can I come from another computer to this computer? Allow access to other devices on the same network, me here at home, for sharing and printing. So that's Samba. Well, that, never mind. I'm just going to show you where it is. If you want to have Samba, bin, main, you run these things. One, two, three, you've got Samba up and running. If you edit and also, of course, the etc Samba file the way you want it. This one is ours. And once you install Samba, it will create its own thing. And these are elements that we put in there. So you see if our knowledge on Samba can help you somehow. So this is for the Windows guys with a, a lot of code in here for Samba 2 to be able to get to Windows. If you have Windows, uh, may, you may have forgotten about it, that that's another operating system and moved to Linux permanently. But these things are there. So that's um, an important test for me later. Notifications, this is awesome, right? You may think, Eric, you're silly. A uh, green icon, that's, that's not bad. But I like everything to be nice and white here. Start minimize is an option, beta program as well. And uh, for the rest, I don't think I need to go in advance. Let me quickly check. Oh yeah, that's a, something I can share. Enable IP version 6 to require a VPN. And all these options are here. And the rest you can forget. App versions, report a problem, fact and the language. So this is Multivelt VPN. Super easy to set up. Money-wise, I don't know uh, if it's expensive or not. There were, before I installed everything, I was, of course, cautious. So, best uh, VPN, Linux or something. Um, <laughs> look, here, it's thinking I'm in Japan. Yeah, I'm living in Japan. I don't know if you know, but I am living in Japan. So Google says, I'll throw some Japanese at him. Uh, not a good idea. <laughs> so switch location. <laughs> Let's get back to Belgium, which is still um, VPN, right? But it's um, now in Belgium at least. So when I go in for up here, maybe best VPN Linux, I'm again in Dutch, Netherlands, right? Linux VPN for Teams, top Linux VPN 2021. And make your own choice. This just happened to me. Like I said, it's an organic thing. Somebody asked a question about keys and then... But I want to have the video out there. So after a month, I will delete everything here. But then you know at least something about bull. No, bull. <laughs> but there it is. And you read if what's if the, what they say review vpn monitor men, mentor.com vpn guide not an l strong uh, for privacy and speed i really do say that speed is super it's not that bad <laughs> um as a test but of course i'm now living in i'm now living in belgium right so it's not going in circles around the world it's quite close and if i download this thing it takes me the normal time like 50 seconds 40 seconds to download two gig gigabyte which is okay but when i move myself to another country like japan 
it will change things. So this is 26 seconds left, okay, around eh, 50. Yeah? If I switch my location back to something, I haven't, what I haven't done is Australia or something like that. Australia, so to Brad, we're going to Brad in Australia. Um, so if you do that again, right, we go back to the internet and go to belnet.pe and it takes a while before that thing loads and then we ask it again, six hours, four hours, two hours left, one hour left, 33 minutes left, 30, 29, 26, 27, 25. So I go from Belgium. I'm not sure which trace route I, th I take there, but I hit things anyway, I'm in Australia. So it takes 20 minutes now to download this thing. So that's an interesting idea. Yeah, I tried uh, a trace route in the meantime, but not much to reveal except the fact that it really thinks A A U, so Australia mentioned in there and that's it. So that's it for me. Um, you do, you decide what you want to use or install. It's entirely up to you. Like I said, it's just an experiment to help somebody. I just bought it for a month. And then it will go off again because hey it will make um, extra hops so it's it will change your speed of internet but if there is no choice if you have to have a vpn to be able to surf and download and your stuff then maybe yeah i totally get that you buy yourself a vpn service all right cheers have fun